Welcome to Wealth Up. This is Sandhya Iyer. This video is to share about the technical views on Nifty and Bank Nifty based on Ichimoku indicator as on 11th May. Market had sharp recovery during afternoon trade from the day's low and formed a larger lower wick on the daily chart. Nifty opened positive and made an intraday eye of 16,316 and closed at 16,167 with a minor loss of 0.45 percentage. Nifty is finding an immediate support at 16,155 and 15,990. Below this, it can go up to 15,670 level. While it is finding a nearest resistance at 16,200 and 16,685. Above the same, it can go up to 17,011 levels. Let's have a look at the Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty opened gap up and made an intraday eye of 34,791 and closed at 34,693 with a minor gain of 0.61 percentage. Now, Bank Nifty has to hold above 35,130 for an up move towards 35,800 levels. 34,470 and 34,360 will act as a very strong support. If this level is broken, then it can go up to 33,980 levels. On upper side, 34,710 will act as an immediate resistance, post which 35,130 and 35,325 will be the next resistance. Now let's have a look at the sector review. IT, metal, pharma, fin services, private bank and auto are the bearish sectors and they seem to have no bullish sectors in this market movement. Based on our analysis, the stock showing bullish signals are Coromandel, Imami Limited, Petronet and Power Grid. And the bearish signals are Housing and Urban Development Corporation, Itka Lab, Stri Cement, Trent, Ibel Housing Finance, Mother Sumi, RBL Bank, Natco Pharma and IRCTC. And Q4 results for 12th May are AB Capital, Apollo Tire, Larson & Tobro, RBL Bank, Siemens and Tata Motors. That's all for the day. Please do leave your comments in the comment section if this video helped in your trading. And do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get a regular notification on our video. See you all in the next video. Bye.